Jeff, thanks for joining us. Alan, good to see you again. Hey, now, you've just been named to lead the President's Council on Jobs and Competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Jobs is probably the most important economic issue facing the country right now. For a chief executive to hire people, he has to have confidence the economy and business is improving. This morning on the investor conference call, you said the economy is getting better every day. You know, Alan, I, I see it. You know, I've seen it now for a while. It's, there's no kind of easy button to push to make the economy suddenly better, but every day we see more signs of life. Uh, a lot of our businesses outside the United States, which has stayed very strong, but demand for credit's improving a little bit. So I just think we're on a gradual recovery, and, and business people are, are a little bit more confident. So if the economy is improving, and you see it in your businesses, what's GE doing to hire more Americans? So, you know, we hired probably more than 10,000 people uh, in the U.S. last year, several thousand in manufacturing jobs. And so I, I think we'll continue as our demand grows, as we make new investments. I would say the employment picture for the company will continue to improve. A lot of folks have said manufacturing in the U.S. is dead. You don't agree. Totally don't agree. You know, we're, we're one of the country's biggest exporters. We have great manufacturing people. Uh, the fact is in the high-tech products we make, uh, it's mainly material content, labor content is lower. So our guys can compete, our people can compete with anybody in the world. So I, I think our markets are export markets, that's gonna drive manufacturing. What would your message be to other chief executives, especially now that you're leading this council? Would you say to them, hey, have the confidence to hire? Look, I think it's about confidence. I think the president is reaching halfway. Uh, getting some certainty around taxes helps. And I just think for, uh, for the other CEOs that have cash, now's the time to invest. The economy's getting better. Let's go. Well, we're not going at full speed yet. 9.4% unemployment. Very high. Unacceptable. Very high. Look, it's a what function. What can we do about it? It's a function, really, I'd say, of two or three things. One, we're coming out of a difficult economic time period, number one. Number two, American business is more productive today than it's ever been. And, and, and that has had an impact on overall employment. But, but the most important part is we've got to invest and we've got to drive exports. You know, 95% of the world's population is outside the United States. Ultimately, to create manufacturing jobs, we've got to be innovating and we've got to be exporting. Now, about a year ago, you had said that you were worried about the Chinese as to whether they were really receptive to our exports. Mm -hmm. You're feeling different now after striking, what, five big deals with the Chinese? You know, Alan, I've always said free means free. You know, uh, love us or not, as GE, we have always been advocated for free trade. And so we talk about that in Washington. We also talk about that in Beijing. And when President Hu was here, he really made very clear statements that if you are an American company investing in China, you will be on the same footing as any local Chinese company. And I respect that. You believe it? I really do, because we've been there a long time. You know, I've been going there myself 25 years. Xi has been in China for 100 years. So none of these things ever go in a completely straight line. But I, I think I've also, or we as a company, have earned the right to speak out when we don't think it's true. Now, there have been reports that in return for your avionics deal that you had to give some technology to the Chinese? We don't Not give it. We don't, right? We're a profit-driven company. We don't give anything. You know, we formed a joint venture in China in avionics where we own 50%. The other 50% is owned by what's called AVIC which is the, the National Aviation Association. We're developing a platform that will compete with Honeywell and Rockwell and Thales and global competitors and cockpits. We've got the interior for the C919, which is the Chinese narrowbody aircraft. But, you know, Alan, we've done joint ventures like this in Italy and Russia, and we've done other ones like this in China. We know how to do this, and we know how to protect our IP. So you, you are now partnering with the Chinese? We've done that in the past. You know, we, we have, just like we partnered with the French and the Japanese and everybody else. That's how you globalize. What about the finances? Uh, you had some good earnings today. Yeah. How are things looking going forward? And also, investors want to know, you've increased that dividend twice. It's not where it had been. Mm -hmm. Is it going there? Look, I, I would say we, we showed this morning great earnings for the company. Earnings up 33%. Financial services is doing great. Our industrial businesses had good orders growth. So the company's starting to fire on all cylinders again. We have a lot of excess cash. We believe that the dividend is very valuable to the G investors, and so we think the dividend will continue to grow in line with earnings. So we're quite bullish on the dividend. Good. 
Jeff, anything else you want to add specifically about job growth? Look, I, I just think uh, business and in a very constructive way with government, we need to get the unemployment rate down. Private enterprise is where the jobs need to be created.